You know, it's that time of year when yard sales and flea markets are springing up, or at least they used to. Nowadays, much of that secondhand selling has moved online year-round to sites like Facebook Marketplace. So true, and sure, they can be convenient places to find great deals. But as Consumer Reports explains, there are some safety steps you need to take before you meet up to finalize an online sale. Here's Rhonda Walker with more. Secondhand selling has now moved online year round. Facebook Marketplace, you can buy plants, bicycles, computers, phones, but here buyers and sellers can remain anonymous behind that screen. So you need to know the latest list of Consumer Reports safety tips before you finalize your next online sale. People buy all kinds of stuff from their neighbors on Facebook. I actually have bought a car on Facebook Marketplace. And while buying a car from a stranger might not typically be recommended, Michelle Concha did her homework. Because we had people in common in the area that I felt actually more secure about buying the car from that person. But along with getting a good deal, using social media may also get you scammed. Consumers have lost more than $2.7 billion to social media scams since 2021. Some scammers lurking on Facebook Marketplace are not after your money. They want your data. Tip number one, never share personal information like your address, email, or phone number. Only communicate through Facebook Messenger. Tip number two, think about where the sale will take place. Meet in a public, well-lit area and never give away your home address. Consider a police station. Some even have designated parking lots where marketplace meetups are watched by security cameras. And tip number three, never exchange cash. Facebook Marketplace recommends a secure person-to-person -person payment method. But even with those, Consumer Reports says you should still take care to prevent payment mistakes. You always want to make sure that you're sending money to the right person before you send the full amount. So here's one tip. Send a $1 test payment first and then make sure that that person received it. And for large purchases, something like that car Michelle bought, pay the old fashioned way and get a cashier's check. Peace of mind to secure your purchase and your safety. Here outside of DPD headquarters with our crime and safety expert here at Local 4, Darnell Blackburn. Darnell, people do this all the time and they do it safely, but it's so important to keep your guard up. So what are your key takeaways? Key takeaways is meeting at a public place. And what better public place than a police department? You can meet somebody in the parking lot. And if you're a little hinky about selling it to somebody, if you're the seller or the buyer for that read matter, yeah. you could actually meet in the lobby of the police department. You can call ahead to the police department and let them know that you'll be making this exchange. Mm -hmm. And many of the police departments are encouraging that as well. Uh, what about, let's say, real world? I have a traffic violation that is still pending. I have unpaid tickets. I may be uncomfortable coming to the police station. You might be, you might be uncomfortable. However, you can still meet in the parking lot. You don't have to go inside the police station. And if you go inside, they're not necessarily gonna run your name. So if you're a buyer or a seller, and somebody is that hinky or apprehensive, you may want to find another seller or another buyer for that product. Good point. What about this? Lastly, car seats. If these pop up on a marketplace and you're in the market for one, what do you do? I know that a lot of people want to purchase car seats and because these things are really expensive. I'm a dad, a dad of young children, toddlers for that matter, and they're in car seats super expensive. However, you don't know where this car seat is being. You don't know if it has all the parts. You don't know if it's missing something. You don't know if it's been in an accident. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to purchase a used car seat. As a matter of fact, here in Michigan, you can't even donate used car seats for that reason. So you want to make sure your kid is as safe as they possibly can be. Absolutely. With Consumer Reports, I'm Rhonda Walker alongside Darnell Blackburn. Back to you. Hey, Rhonda and Darnell, thank you. I used to love Facebook Marketplace five or six years ago, mm -hmm. but now I think you just have to be so careful. It's so yeah. many people out there that are up to no good, so it's just kind of more trouble than it's worth for me. You've used it, though. Yeah, I've used it and had some bad experiences where the seller asked too many questions that made okay. me feel uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. it made me feel like I was being scammed, so Same. I ended up giving the, uh, giving the items away. Yeah. Or they just say, is this still available? And then, don't you hate yes, that? It's up are, there. Are you interested? <laughs> yeah. Is this still available? It's like, well, yes, I yes. said yes. yes. No, now it's, it's not. Happened, yeah. Exactly. No, I'm just gonna start it's using it again. It. Exactly, <laughs> yeah.